people ask me questions of why am I setting up a ocean conservation chapter in the middle of the mountains. When I, when I thought about it, you know, being a free diver in the lake, I, the, the, the lake eventually runs into the ocean. Yeah. So we have to preserve the lake um, at this end, but also the tourist a- uh, aspect of it all. So, you know, you've got people from all over the world coming to Queenstown, and it was a great way to spread the awareness from uh, the inside out. And, and obviously with, with tourists, you know, they bring money and they can make donations and, and buy merchandise, which helps us sp- uh, spread the message. The, the journey started with a, a, tr- a trip to Tonga with a few friends and we, and we went to swim with the, the humpback whales. As soon as I saw, you know, these amazing creatures underwater, I just, there was almost a, a switch flicked inside me. And I just thought to myself, how can these certain nations, you know, slaughter these creatures for, you know, you know, for, for consumption. And that was that was the start of it. So I, re- I returned back from Tonga, and at that point, I I felt the need to to do something. So I contacted Sea Shepherd New Zealand uh, to see if I could start a chapter in Queenstown. It's hard work, physically and mentally, because we, you know, we're, we are in Africa at the moment, so we've got to deal with the the, the temperatures. So there's there's quite a bit of a routine. There's no there's no days off. Uh, as an engineer, we have shifts, mm-hmm. so we work four hours on, eight hours off. You know, so it, it is it is hard work, but because we're all passionate individuals and we all we're all caring people. Oh, it's a full vegan ship. We want to make a difference. We know why we're here, and we that that sits in the back of our mind. That's how we get by. <laughs>